We are an all-through school. We are a 3 to 18 school. We are members of a very diverse uh, area of Glasgow. And that's why we decided to have health and well-being as a major focus of Curriculum for Excellence at Craig Home. All of our colleagues realised that they all had a responsibility to deliver health and well-being as part of the curriculum and that it should and did have an impact across learning. And as a 3 to 18 school, they realised that we were best placed to have real impact. So we had no barriers, but what we did have was lots of questions. So we decided that we would look at how we could bring all of these questions together. And we started off with a full audit of existing provision. We then used our pupil forum and our health and wellbeing committee to implement a wide range of questionnaires so that we could get as much information as possible and we decided that we needed new vision, values and aims. I contributed to the values section through the pupil forum. We spoke to our year groups and found out what they thought should be included and we came up with the following values. Caring and respect in words and actions, self-respect, sharing our talents, engaging the community, striving for excellence, skills for life, work and learning. The focus is for health and well-being across learning uh, should be evident for anybody who came into contact with the school. The minute you walk into Craig Home, the, one of the first things that you are hit with is a huge wall of success. We have an overview of what's going on in every single uh, classroom. Everywhere you go, um, our visions, values and aims are displayed. Our pupils understand all of those values and aims and you could ask what health and well-being means to them and they would immediately start to talk to you about social, emotional, physical and mental well-being. The school's work in health and well-being has changed my understanding of health and well-being. It's not just about running, it's about um, stress and like, your upbringing. Before I thought of health and well-being as quite selective. But now I think of it as something that's more, it's involved in everything we do. It has made me personally more aware of eating healthier, being more active. But not only that, has taught me to be confident. The pupil members of our health and wellbeing committee also had a very important role to play. And they brought, brought us back some very good ideas on where the children felt health and wellbeing should go. Working on the Health and Wellbeing Committee has impacted on me because I have learned to become more confident so I can voice my opinion in front of all the adult members. But I've also learned leadership skills. I was involved in developing health and wellbeing by publicising the events that were going on throughout the school. To publicise these events went out to the neighbours and wider community to get them involved as well. We felt it was important to take account of the wider community. Our parents, grandparents, our neighbours are always invited into anything, any talks that we have in school. We are very fortunate that we have an excellent speakers programme at Craig Home and we've invited a number of keynote speakers to come in. We've had two key speakers so far this year. It was very good for the whole school to hear what these two key speakers had to say. So from our initial steps of vision, values and aims, we had our health and wellbeing wall, uh, we had our self-evaluation, which enabled us to monitor and track. And the final stage, which we're working on currently, is how we gather that evidence and record that evidence. The rewards for us um, are very tangible. We now have girls who are confident, they are articulate, and they are able now to leave us as vibrant members of a vibrant society, fully aware of the impact of health and well-being in a modern 21st century.